Hi guys, um, bike packing and backpacking grandad here. Um, it's been a lovely day. It's really been sunny all day. A slight breeze that kept you coolish, so I just went for a quick um, ride on uh, the Boardman today um, mountain bike uh, just along canal paths. We went in a lovely meadow, um, had some lunch and then uh, rolled back. I was going to record a few things, bits and bats, uh, but unfortunately uh, my battery went. Um, so, I was just thinking about it today, uh, while I was uh, actually out, and I thought I've never said who I actually am. Um, right, so I'll just give you a bit of background. Um, I'm 68 years old, and uh, I'm a retired driving instructor, ADI. Uh, I retired in the first lockdown basically, um, mainly because it, it was time. I've suffered um, a little bit of ill health in the past. 2.14 I had a stroke um, and then after that they reckoned I'd had um, a couple of heart attacks which basically I can't really remember. I can just remember having pains in my chest while I was swimming once. Um, but that's that's about it. Anyhow, getting back to that, I dispensed with work and became a man of leisure. Um, so in lockdown, when there wasn't much to do, a lot to do, as a youngster, I did cycle, um, and I quite liked it. So I got myself uh, a bike which I'd had given me off my next door neighbour very kindly. I called it the Silver Stallion, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, I set off on that bike. I could not go up any incline whatsoever. I was just going round in circles, like round a little green really, which is approximate size of an average size roundabout. And I just kept going out every day and doing a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. I was on the points of giving up for thinking I'd never get there uh, when another friend of mine lent me his Brompton. So that being lighter, I'd started going out on that and eventually started going up inclines and one thing and another uh, getting a little bit further and a little bit further and then eventually I was doing little rides only a mile or so and um, you know so but really getting chuffed with myself so I just carried on and got stronger and stronger as you do with perseverance and then I bought myself a Boardman at MTX 8.6 bike which uh, I thought were fantastic really like it I still like it actually this is the one I've been out on today and um, it's a little bit high geared for me I must be honest but as I mainly do canal tow paths and uh, try uh, L's every now and again it's not that I don't uh, try them I do but just know my limitations at the moment from there uh, I went to Spa Cycles and bought myself a, a touring bike with drop angle bars. I really love that bike and it's just the drop angle bars and getting on and off I find a little bit difficult so I may have to think about that. From there, um, through a friend and acquaintance of mine that uh, likes to do a little bit of camping and backwood stuff and I got uh, watching videos what he'd show me and thought you know what I'm going to have a, a give this a go so what I did got myself a 25 quid tent <laughs> yeah um, Euro Ike Tamar 2 it is hey it's cracking don't knock it a um, little bit heavy obviously loaded my panniers up with a uh, little bit minimal camping gear and probably took the kitchen sink really and off I trotted on a one nighter I rode up the Rochdale Canal from where I live which is near Failsworth um, well actually I live in Oldham in between Oldham and Ashton Underline but it's easy to get to uh, the canal at Failsworth the Rochdale Canal and uh, rode all the way up to Ebden Bridge my god going up to the campsite I can either recommend the campsite but it nearly killed me anyhow absolutely loved it glorious weather of course i just let lucky so i can't wait for my next trip and uh, what i've done i liked it that much that i came across a naturite vic one single skin so i've invested in that now which i 
tried to make a little bit of a video and incidentally these videos um, it would just came up uh, post on YouTube I did them for the family and on Facebook at first just for my friends and thought you know what I'll put it on and see what happens I'm um, not after anything special just thought people would like to see um, even if you've had a few knockbacks that there's no reason to stop and it is difficult if you just get on a bike and you haven't rode for many years but all I can say just go at your own pace just keep pedalling along and just tookle about and suddenly you start enjoying it and I just love the solitude I love being out I don't do much on roads I get away um, little forest tracks and luckily I'm on the edge of uh, a little nature reserve and there's lots of little tracks and all through lockdown and up to now I've been discovering little places and meadows and uh, little spots where you, you could camp if you were into wild camping at side of rivers provided you kept yourself out of the way a little bit but absolutely love it and that's all I can say so you know I'm just going to share a few things because I'm a normal bloke and I saw uh, a guy that calls himself midlife, uh, midlife crisis and I thought you know what that's just like I was but I think he's a much better cyclist than I am to be fair but um, he goes out now and he's, he's back back in with his bike you know uh, and it, it is brilliant get out there and enjoy it if you haven't tried it you surprise yourself I love it okay that's all for now I'm sure I'll be posting uh, some more I'm uh, hoping to get out in the next couple of days and try this nature right tent out so what I'll do I'll um, post uh, a little bit about that on the uh, first proper overnighter in that with it being a single skin I'm just maybe a little bit concerned about condensation but we'll see we'll see how it goes okay thanks for listening if you like it just hit the subscribe button or give me a like whatever who cares if you don't like it don't watch it's just as simple as that thanks for listening bye